Hello, everybody. My name is Skylar, and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Going Mobile. Now, this game, I have never played, ever. Um, as far as I'm aware. I think I played it when I was, like, seven, but that's it. But, let's get into it. Where are we? It appears to be that biomatter converted technology that we were invited to preview has accidentally been triggered. And that means... I believe we have been converted to digital information and stored within the converter. Curious. So what do we do? I believe we need to look out. Let's, okay, the five key to the tablet. Okay. Did, did I not? There we go. So what's this then? It looks to be an info link that connects this area within the rest of the galaxy's information network. This will take us to another electronic device that may allow us to communicate with the analog world. That will allow us to get out of here, then I'm all about it. Let's go. Alright, so we got the grind rails. Press A to the down button on this top to read the level. Okay. So the story is Ratchet and Clank get trapped in like a digital secret agent Clank vid comic and have to get out, so. That's what I remember. Oh dear. Hey, this place looks familiar. Yes, it is familiar. I believe the device may have been carried to is a vidcomic, specifically a secret agent click vidcomic. Cool, perhaps, but also highly dangerous. I would suggest you find information for your weapon. Well, we got it right here, buddy. Oh man, I remember the sound effects of this. This is, yeah, I played this before. To unlock a door, hit the bolt crank with your wrench. Okay. For some reason, I don't have like a regular um, wrench button on this controller. You find a titanium bolt, collect them all to get the rhino. Ooh! Oh, I don't remember that. Okay. So you don't have to collect the plant, but you still have to collect something. It always gives you it gives you an incentive instead of oh hey you get all the bolts. They just give you a couple bonuses that really aren't worth anything. Well. Whoops, well, to wall jump, I, uh, can wall jump, ratchet, I'm guessing ratchet can wall jump continuously to climb long vertical shafts like this one, okay. I'm gonna have to add music over this. Reminder for future Skylar. Add music over this. Done. It sucks that in this game, whenever you swing with the wrench, it only does a downward thing. It doesn't go forward. Ratchet can grind on rails by jumping onto them. Try grinding on this rail. Ah, what I tell you, it's grind rails. I knew it. That's cool though that they brought this back too. Like if they would, if they made the sequel, I think it was called like Clone Go or something like that. If they made the sequel to this, that would be the best. What's this? It appears to be a software module that I can modify to allow me to extend my arms. So, as to grasp those green nodes, so it will work like my grapple gun. <laughs> Swing shot. Exactly. When you see a grapple icon appear on screen, you may press up or two to extend my arms for a grapple or swing. You may swing across successive grapple points by pressing two in midair between swings. Oh, Rat Clank just broke the fourth wall. Who does he think he is, Deadpool or something? Oh, come on. Ah, 230. <gasps> what, 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 what? Oh, a helipack. Oh, you have to press up, you have to press up twice. Okay. Yeet. No. Son of a biscuit shot me. And boom. This is gonna take a minute. Alright, thousand bolts so far. One thing I do remember, I think, is that the weapons are really expensive whenever you get later into it. I mean, it's only like 30 minutes long. But I take my time. I'm gonna take my time. 
tanks. So there's chicken bots, robot soldiers, tanks, and I believe there's one that explodes. Here's another information link. It only helps us get deeper into the software. But I think I can access the storage subsystem so we can rearm your weapons. Good call, now let's get out of here before I end up in the balance suit again. Save game? Yeah, your game has been saved. Oh, it has the noise! Yes! It has the noise! Ooh, gravity bomb. Don't mind if I do. We also have the mini rocket, the defragmenter, and... Oh, that's it. We only get four weapons, really? Uh, did I not program a back button? Are you serious? Hang on. Okay, so I'm back. I got a back button programmed and all that good stuff, so... Oh, wrong button. Battle land. Ooh. Cool. And then... Oh, I didn't buy it. Oh. That wasn't cool. Wonder if you can get armor upgrades in this. I know I don't know if the weapons upgrade. My weapon hasn't upgraded yet. And there's no experience bar for it. Unless my health is out of whack. I got this running the best that I could on my phone, because I don't have a PC right now. Ooh, weapons do level up! Yes! Cool. Oh, and the bullets changed a bit. That's neat. But yeah, I um, programmed this the best I could. Frame rates, screen ratio, everything. So. Gotcha. And boop! Another in- uh, Another info link. This one leads back to the operating system. I see it's in an area where I will be able to tap into a communication system. To get us out of here, just when I was beginning to feel welcome. Hmm. I seem to have also accidentally unlocked the virtual battle arena. Hey, that's always fun too! Unlock level 3 and arena levels! Yeah! They return too! Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. Um... Um... Next time I'll be play a little bit, might take a look at the arena. Anyways, that was part one. Hope you all have a nice day. See ya.